Hello students, today our topic is changing materials by heating. We are going to look at the ways by which we can change the shapes of the materials. Before I go to the new topic, I would like to recall the earlier lesson about the ways we learn how the things change the shapes by squashing, stretching, bending and twisting. I'm providing the link here if you would like to go and watch it again. Now have a look at this picture. What do you think this man is doing? Exactly. He is trying to give a shape to the clay. So the clay is molded, right? It is given a shape. So here you can see a ball of clay is given beautiful shapes. And what do you think this man is doing? He is giving shape to the metal rod. And now look at this picture. What do you think this person is trying to do to the clay? Lovely. He is trying to press the clay with his thumb and trying to flatten it or change its shape. Yeah, very good. And you all know this very well. He is excellent his twisting and i'm very sure you all would have done this at least once in your lifetime yes changing the shape of materials isn't a new idea people who lived more than ten thousand years ago made metal jewelry now let's see how the materials change their shape by heating what do you think will happen to the chocolate bar if you leave it on the hot pan? How about butter? Exactly, there you are. Some everyday materials change when they are exposed to heat. Now look at these pictures. This is picture A and you can see the metal is changed to a shape. Can you have a look at it? Pause the video, look and you can see what shape it is. Did you guess? Amazing. So this is a chain shape. Yeah. Now look at this picture B. This is also made up of lovely metal. What is the difference you can find between picture A and picture B? Did you guess? Wow, you people are amazing. So in picture A, the metal is bent to form that shape. Whereas in picture B, it is twisted to form a cable. Lovely. If you look at this picture B, the cable has been more stronger by twisting separate strands of steel together. Hence, they are used in cranes for lifting heavy loads or in bridges and so on. Why do you think picture B is used for heavy objects lifting and so on? Why not picture A? Did you make a guess? Amazing. Exactly. Twisting makes the materials more stronger. And what do you think? How these chains and cables are made from metal? Exactly. By? melting you people are amazing so materials can also be changed by heating or cooling heating something means to make it hotter and cooling means to make it colder now look at this picture what this girl is doing yes she is giving shape to the clay Imagine you take a ball of clay and you divide it into two portions and you make two bowls out of those two portions. One bowl you are going to put it in the oven for heating and another bowl you are going to leave it at the room temperature. So what do you think? What will happen 
what differences do you think you will notice between these two bowels, the one which is heated and the other which is not heated? Come on, now I want you to think how the bowels might have changed. Now come on, put your minds in action. Tell me what you will notice. Now, have you jot down your answers? You want to know what the changes will be? Okay, now I'm going to put both the bowels together, the one which is in the oven at very high temperature and the other which is at the room temperature. Means the one, means one bowel is heated and the other is not. Let's see the difference. Here is the answer. So here are the two bowels. One bowel, I left it at the room temperature. The other one, is heated. Can you tell me out of these two, which do you think is the heated one? There you are. This is the heated one. So what you notice between these two bowels? Wow, you people are amazing. So the heated bowel is harder, lighter in color, shinier and drier. Lovely. Now let's have a look at some everyday materials, how they change when they are heated. I have few ingredients here for making cake like butter, eggs, sugar, and uh, milk, and raisin salt. So I'm going to mix all these ingredients well. And after mixing, I'm going to Put this batter in a pan and then put it in the oven. And I am going to set the temperature at 200 degrees. Mm. And here is the yummy yend product. Yes, here is, you can see, the muffins. Now look at this cakes, children. Do you think they are different from the ingredients? Lovely, there you are. The cakes look completely different from the ingredients. We mix around four to five ingredients and they seem to look like, look like, wow, great. Yes, they seem to look like one material. So it's impossible for us to pick up the eggs or separate the sugar or the butter. Why? Because everything is mixed and they look so soft and fluffy. And did you notice one thing? We added the ingredients, but we got the end product as soft and fluffy cakes. So what goes on in between? Have you made a guess? Lovely, excellent. This something goes on between and this something is called as chemical reaction. You want to know one amazing fact? For cake, how much temperature I told you I set for the oven? Wow, excellent. You people remember? Yes, it's 200 degree. But you know, if you want to melt the steel or metal, how much temperature is needed? Can you make a guess? Oh my God, you'll be shocked if you come to know this. The steel bakes at 1200 degrees, which is six times more the temperature of baking cake. I hope you would have understood this lesson very well. Now I want you to try a simple experiment. I want you to live a Leave an ice cube at the room temperature and let me know what you notice. Okay, you can post your answers to me if you like. And thanks for watching Friends for Learning.